Hey, so today I went to do my groceries and I decided that I wanted to buy bones, beef bones, so that I can make bone broth because it's actually a good source of collagen and I just want to make it myself, you know. So right now I have the bones soaking and basically you do this so that the, the blood comes out of the bones and I'm gonna rinse it one more time and then I'm gonna start boiling it so I've rinsed the the bones and added water and now I'm gonna add the salt that I got from from spa it's sea salt and it says um, natural and pure so I think it's good I don't know so yeah I'm gonna add a little bit of this I also want to add onions and garlic but I'm thinking I should do that after a few hours of it boiling right now i'm going to prep these veggies and put them in these bags and i get these from pep and they this whole box it has 40 bags i get it for 20 rand and it comes in handy done prepping my veggies uh, this makes my life so much easier like when i come back from work i just put chicken in the oven saute this and my dinner is ready morning it is the next day i forgot to update you on the broth that i was making yesterday but i let it simmer for five hours for about five hours yes, yesterday so today i think i'm also gonna do five hours and i think that should be good but in the recipes that i was looking at yesterday some people were leaving it out for like 24 hours huh we'll see i feel like that's so long but yeah i just woke up it's around 10 a.m and it's so late i don't usually wake up around 10 a.m i'm just recovering from a flu and i slept really late last night so yeah i was supposed to go to the gym today but i woke up feeling so weak so i'm not really sure if i'm gonna go to the gym or not we'll see so this is how it looks right now I did add a bit of onion and more salt because it was tasted bland but yeah um, I'm gonna turn on the stove and put it at 6 for about 30 minutes and then turn it down to 2 and just let it simmer for a few hours again. I think so far altogether I've done 10 hours so I think I'm done. I don't want to boil it anymore it looks like it's good so yeah i'm just gonna put this in here i'm gonna rinse this and put it in here to let it sit and if it becomes like gelatin then i know that i've 
done enough and it has enough collagen if it's more watery then i'll just try again next time okay i'm getting ready to go to the office and this is the bone broth that i made the other day so i i just remove the fat from the top and then basically dig to get the bone broth i'm gonna put it in this container and then maybe around 11 12 at the office i'll just warm it up and drink it so yeah as you can see it looks like gelatin i don't know if you can see actually but the texture and that's how bone broth is supposed to look like but then when i warm it it's definitely gonna turn into liquid so i'm so happy so this is what i'm wearing to the office today really casual taking this jacket as well the shirt is Woolworths, the skirt is cotton on, and the sandals are also cotton on. This shirt, I didn't actually get it from Woolworths, I got it at Choice Clothing. If you're in Cape Town, you know. And it was 80 Rand. So it's a good shirt, I like it. I wanted something white, something basic, because I'm usually drawn to colorful things and i find that i don't really have basics so i had to i tied my hair in this claw clip don't know if you can see but yeah i like this hairstyle right now I just realized that i had to go withdraw money before leaving which i hate doing that in the morning i usually go i usually have money for transport i make sure that i have money left the day before so i have to go withdraw now and yeah i'm actually kind of late but it's okay i don't have to be in the office today i'm gonna grab my lunch bag and i'm trying to like always have my my bed made before i leave so i'm great i'm i'm glad that i can do this so yeah
getting ready to go to the gym. I didn't vlog after work, I just forgot. So I'm packing my gym bag now. I'm trying to get back into shape. Trying to get healthy and lose some weight. And I started a keto diet on Tuesday. Today's Friday, by the way, on Tuesday. I have been keto before. Last year I did keto for a few months, maybe like four months. And it was on and off. Like I wasn't really that, I was trying to commit, but I was just really struggling. So I lost about 9.8 kgs. So I want to try again this year and be a little more strict and committed and see how much progress I can make because I feel like 8 kgs in a space of 4-5 months isn't a lot but I mean I'm still glad that I lost that weight and I did enough to lose it because if I didn't start the diet I would be probably 10 kgs heavier now so still progress but this year I'm really trying to push. I want to lose another 10, hopefully, in like six months. I'm not really putting a, a very tight time limit for myself because I don't want to discipline myself. And also, just losing weight is hard. So. I'm just giving myself enough time to do that. Even if I lose 10 kgs the whole year, it's still better than gaining 10 kgs. So I'm gonna try and make those changes. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym now. I have load shedding and then when I come back, I might film me meal prepping a few things. It's not a big meal prep. Usually, I usually make food that I, will last about two days like two or three servings of something for me is fine i don't have to more prep for the whole week because i get bored and stuff and also we have load shedding a lot and i don't want my food to go off so i just more prep a few two three four servings and then that's it so yeah i had to film myself trying this on because what these are so good. Wow, getting them. just came back from the gym I'm going to quickly take a bath and then I'm gonna make a few meals to just put in the refrigerator and have later as I need them so I've uh, spice my meat i'm gonna put the chicken in the oven and i'm going to pan fry the pork
this is my salad i <coughs> added lettuce cucumber olives this is sauerkraut and i made it myself tuna and beetroot i also boiled and pickled this myself as well so yeah i hope it tastes good i pretty much put everything that i have that goes into a salad so yeah so i'm gonna saute my vegetables i still have to chop up the cabbage to add to this and i'm gonna eat while i do this i'm done with the meat and the veggies are almost done so yep hey guys so while i was at the mall i went to jumbo and I got these um, gym tights. They are so good, such good quality. The brand is Yoga Licious Lux. And this is my second pair from that actually. And I got it for 130. That's a really good price for gym tights because while gym clothes are expensive and I'm on a budget. So yeah, I really, really like these. They look so good on me. They're compressive, which i love i'm not gonna be self-conscious while i'm running on the treadmill so i love these so much and actually this is my second pair uh, i bought another pair recently and it's so good so i already know that this is gonna be nice to wear so i love that for me <laughs>